Morning announcer, Mark Hector Burgess. Alvia. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest this evening, sponsored by Betfred and Rain and Steel, is 10 three minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Firstly, please welcome in the red corner, weighing in 15 stone, 8 pounds, that's 218 pounds, wearing the white and blue shorts, with a record of 20 wins, 12 losses, 1 draw, with 13 KOs to his name. Hailing from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Hector Alfredo Avia. And with a record of 20 wins, 12 losses, 1 draw, with 13 KOs to his name. Hailing from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Hector Alfredo Avia. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue shorts. He's come to, into the ring, weighing in at 18 stone, that's 252 pounds. With a record of 15 wins, four losses, with nine KOs to his name. Please welcome a former British heavyweight champion from Finchley, London, Derek Delboy Chisora. Gentlemen, 10 rounds or less. Take yourselves at all times. Touch your gloves. Good luck. Jeff Hunt is the third man in the ring for this heavyweight bout. Chisora is wearing the Queen's emblem. Chisora is ready to go with Hector Avila. Again, he was having a big weight advantage against another fighter. You know, I fought for that heavyweight three. Game. He weighed in that 214. Wow. Thought I won the fight. <laughs> so did a lot of other people. But, you know, he, he proved why he was a champion that night. On the, uh, on the chest of an opponent, and he goes right to work in the corner. Looks like Derek's just kind of getting into the mood here. He's just kind of getting into the... Jamil, can you speak to a fighter like a Chisora, possibly... Absolutely, wanting... because the difference, between, the difference between getting rounds in in the gym and getting rounds in a live... fight. So this is a, a chance for him to get uh, fight. his Andrej Pala, who is from Czech, the Czech Republic, 33 with 22 KOs, but that fight fell out. And so Hector Avila, El Tiburon, was a late add-in. Jamil, how quickly can you tell if uh, ring rust is a factor? Can you tell can, right away? In this case, I don't know yet if ring rust is a factor in Derek Tesoro's ability here to finish this guy off or... ...there from Avila, and looking for the uppercut is Tesoro again. He uses his arms a lot. There's a right hand. Benitez has way. a baby face. He's uh, 37 Good years old. Man. Avila just turned 38 the other day. Consecutive victories, and then he which is something he's got to get committed to. And here he lands that uppercut and chops away at the bottom. Chisora just needs a W. He just needs a win. Remember how to win. The dominant rounds. And there's a Avila. And Chisora comes back, and he picks up a little bit of speed here. And the crowd gets into it. Chisora is a very talented heavyweight. Klitschko, he did very well. He did poorly against... David Hay, but that's indicative of who he is. He's very erratic. Now Chisora starting to loosen up and land some good punches up against the ropes. He's starting to work a slip. A big left hook by Chisora, now an uppercut. And using his weight advantage to his good, good help there. Ripping uppercuts. You know, I, Chisora, he's taking oh, some, he hurt him. Yeah, he definitely hurt him. Uh, he's taking some shots here, I've noticed. I mean, I'm sure they don't hurt, but if you're looking to early, this fight is really about what Chisora shows up moving forward, not about what Avila can there, The right hand missed, a little bit lazy, didn't really hit, land crisp with that. Yeah, and he got hit there, you know, as, you, as I said, you know, his timing's off a little bit, but... Try to put a final punch on this bout, but now he's backed off a little bit in this sixth round. Chisora, Chisora will definitely be up for that fight. And Adamic is just a great talent. He's not really uh, at the level, I think, two right guys, now. That the I two want. styles would look great together. Chisora with that, and he would come out guns ablaze. And so maybe that's what he's working here tonight on some of the things he would try again. He's definitely earned his pace. Yes, he has. Chisora backs him up. 
Right hand. And again, another and another 10-9 round. This fight has Jimmy. sapped a lot of the energy the job, out of the, the arena, which was there when Nathan cleverly put on yes. in responding to the question about Hopkins and saying that he wants to see where he is. You know, like it's, it's a, a champion and to, and to fight him. And, you know, instead of saying, I yeah, just I want to where he's at. Cleverly is a very smart man. He's intelligent. He is. And more importantly, he really knew with the fact that he knew what was in front of him. Yes, he did hear some rumblings in the great... And, Put on a, a, a tremendous because be, 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 because he couldn't. I, I just think he did less because he put him in that position. Now Tesoro lands another right hand here fight. in the seventh. Michael Woods. It looked like he might have gotten up against the ropes. This, I think you said inside five, right? I believe so. Yeah, he's doing a lot of holding now. He's, he's winded. He's gassed. This is really this practice on finishing guys off. Avila throwing a couple jabs and putting Jasor into the corner. Now Jasor answers back, counters with a, a solid body. He's been blood in the water since uh, round two. It's time for the shark and to end the fight. Jasor lands a right, a left, a factor. Oh, Jasor with missing a right hand. Yeah, Chisora is really showing the right. pattern right now. And, I, and, I, and it seems as if he is okay with that. Trying to understand what's going on tonight. Why he's allowing this man to be here even after seven rounds. And he is clearly... And a little respect shown there by the two fighters at the end of the with, with Lamborghinis and other high-priced cars. But he sits and said it was hard to get payments. <laughs> and that's that's what Jamil McClyne wants to see. That is what I would love to see. I would love to see him start sharp and crisp. I think he... Heavy Al is trying to touch gloves. You know, it's turning into a friend fest out here. And right. As opposed to a fist fest. Very good. Out of two rounds, everyone, said, everyone would say, well, the guy's a bum. Getting rounds in, shedding rust. To look at the punches in the fight. Jasori's number of 471 is really not 151 landed. Yeah, decent volume from him today. Yeah, he's definitely throwing punches, that's for sure. Go, hand, uh, go, go to the body of Avial with the straight right hand. Come back up to him. And that staggered him a little bit. I don't know if he got his feet tangled up or had bad balance, but there's a body blow from keeping the scorecard. Right <laughs> I have to, Mr. Sharp, I have God to stay bless with him. it. The busiest customers out there, and he's the ref. Yes, he has. He's definitely earning his pay hey. also. He's keeping a close eye on the action right now. Hey, there, Avila doing some counter punch and getting Chisora mad. Yeah, a little bit of uh, eating some leather himself to get him fired. punch of the night. And Avila is in deep trouble. I think this will be stopped momentarily if Jeff Hines steps in. And that's it. So Chisora finally did what he wanted what he to was do. He was there. stopping it I, there. I don't think he knew what he was doing when he stepped in. It looked like or the two words. Or three words, it was time. And he got a lot of rounds in, so maybe a lot for more him. positive of an outing than it was for the viewing He's public. He's going to take it as a positive. Got the rounds in. Avila earned his pay. He worked hard. Lie down. So a ninth round TKO for Derek Chisora. That was the end of the fight as far as the referee Jeff Hines was concerned. He had seen enough. And Tesoro's got plenty of fans here, so he doesn't have to do much to get them riled up. He did more in his...